Will those shared family television moments, you know, the ones I'm talking about, Strictly and Bake Off and that kind of thing, become a thing of the past? Let's talk now to Tim Glanfield from the Radio Times. And also with us is YouTuber Riyadh Khalaf. And let's just get a flavour of what Riyadh K gets up to. My sanctuary, my childhood, my memories, my first time, my identity, my family, my Ireland. Uh, Riyadh, you're a YouTuber, but that looks very much like TV to me. Well, this is the beauty of YouTube. You can do what you want. You don't have to pitch to a producer. You don't have to keep to the same format. As an artistic person and someone that is an oversharer slash attention seeker, <laughs> I can do... It's made for you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I started my channel when I was 16 years old because I saw another YouTuber in the States and I thought, I can do that. Okay, well, and look, I could do it better. <laughs> to, to be honest, I think I think you would be a success whether it was YouTube, TV, or, or you know anything else. You just you have that way about you. But how does it make you feel when you hear that kids in this country are now watching screens uh, in a way that you use them rather than a, in a way that I use them? I think it's great. I think the more content that people can watch on the more platforms, the better, because it's a democracy. YouTube is a democracy. The the, the content that is successful is so because people choose that it's going to be successful. They're not forced to watch something at nine o'clock on the telly and only that. They can watch whatever they want. I know, I know Tim, that Riyadh thinks it is also the interaction that you get with YouTube. You can comment below, mm. you can, you know, you, you will get YouTubers responding to their audience that you don't get with TV, which is more of a passive experience. Is that something that they're always going to want, or is it something that you grow into, that sort of passive experience when you're a knackered well, I mean, like me? I, I think it, it, <laughs> is a, it is a passive experience to an extent, television, although you see some of the most popular shows, people do ring in and vote and they yeah. text in, so actually... And they do with us, necessarily, And, you know, people get in touch with news shows. So I don't think it's fair to say that all television is passive, but, yes, YouTubers are in a, a particularly interactive experience, which is a, a very different form um, of consuming content. But that doesn't necessarily mean that a 14-year-old who's enjoying it now will want to do that when they're 35 or 40, when they're sitting down with their family. They may well want to experience more of those family moments, like watching the Bake Off, 15 million people doing that, or Strictly Come Dancing, or, you know, the huge Olympic events, like, uh, you know, 15 million people watching people cycle around in a circle 100 mm -hmm. times, you know. Uh, well, I know that baffles you. I thought that was incredibly exciting. Ria, what do you consume yourself uh, as a young man? I consume an absolute mix of everything. 90% would probably be online, be that from news organisations or other YouTubers. But the, the joy of YouTube is that there are literally families out there that are vlogging and documenting their life. And, and this is the new reality TV. It's almost Big Brother, but produced by a family. But it is the new reality TV, but it's not much more than that. It's, it's a very defined genre, the streaming stuff, isn't it? I mean, I'm not talking about Netflix here and the, the, the fancy dramas. I'm talking about the YouTube stuff that so many kids are watching. Um, no, I disagree. I think it's absolutely... It seems to be a lot of people just talking to cameras sitting on a bed to me. Uh, well, you're not looking hard enough. <laughs> so you can find anything you want on YouTube, even plumbing experts. Even Russell Brand does it that way. I mean. Yeah, I mean, look, the thing is, the reason why the YouTube format works so well is because it's human-to-human -human interaction. It's me and you, not a massive audience. It's this. And people love this raw element of, of, of getting into your life. And if you're an oversharer, like I said, then everyone wins. Tim, just briefly, TV then needs to get with the programme, doesn't well, it? I, I think this is a golden age of content. There are lots of different ways of consuming content now. Technology is changing. YouTube's part of the ecosystem. It's brilliant. I mean, I think the more content, the better. Um, it's really important that there's great content that's made. Netflix is a great thing. They're making huge productions mm. like The Crown that's come out recently. You've got The Grand Tour going to um, Amazon. These are great programmes that people will watch in a different way. Golden age. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> for all content. Thank you both very much indeed.